Okay, as part of our VBS programs in Answers and Genesis, I think one of the, the features that we always have are science experiments, because we're not anti-science, are we, right, Stacia? Right, right. We part love science. Of teaching about God with this one is showing that God's laws enable us to do science, so we couldn't do science without the laws of God that come from Well, let's him. sneak in and see what our <clears throat> test group right. uh, are doing and one of the science experiments they're involved in. So let's go in here. Wonderful. Okay, we'll see what they're doing here. So it looks like, let me come over here. So we've got some kids who are just telling us some different attributes of God. And with every single one of these jewels, they have to put a one new one in. God. So she just said one true God. Forgiving. Forgiving. These are some of the things they've learned. Truthful. Truthful right? Anybody else want to put one in? King of Kings. King of kings. And as they fill this up, they're going to realize, Miss Kathy, so let's pause for just a second. They're going to realize you can never run out. You can never run out. They're, in fact, we put some words on the walls, and there are not enough words to describe God. Right. And so tell us how you're going to, after this is full, what are you going to do, Miss Kathy? Well, when this is full with the big gems, then we have some smaller gems that we're going to put in here. And then the smaller gems, they're going to think, oh, they're probably not going to fit, but they do. And then after that, it certainly looks like it's full. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add water, which is also going to fit. Mm -hmm. So what I tell the class then is that no matter what you think, there's always more room, and God can always handle what you have. Right. And so we, we do always a lot of spiritual principles with our science experiments, but then, of course, we tell them about the science part of it, too. Over here on the table, we're working with some rainbow walking water, okay? So it didn't start out like this, did it, kids? It didn't look like that. It started out with just juice and paper towels, and then as we washed it, it filled up with juice. Right, so there, it's, it's changing colors, isn't it? And we're going to talk about the principles behind that. Every, week, every day we've done different stuff, right? Did you guys like the one where we were trying to figure out all that stuff with the cabbage juice with the mystery colors? Yeah, Wasn't that, that was so, so fun? And we had to decode that and figure out some acids and some alkalines, right, Miss Kathy? And can you tell us a couple other ones? You did a can crushing. Oh, that was a big hit. The can crushing, we put some very hot, almost boiling water in a can and put it, turned, flipped it over and put it into a bowl of ice. And then the can kind of sucked in on itself. That was, that was fun, wasn't it? So, and we learned about so, the pressure so in the who ocean. Loves, who loves to do science? You love science? They yes. love science. And they right. learned about the pressure of the ocean with that one. Every one of them has a scientific principle and also a spiritual principle. But we, it's really been fun in here, hasn't it? Yeah. Yes. So it looks like you've been busy. <laughs> yes, I've been very busy. <laughs> yes, yes. And this is right here is our little, our little chart. I don't know if you can see. Oh, that's the back of it. Yeah, it's on the back of it with our cabbage scale, with our pH scale. <clears throat> but anyway, so different things, different days. I don't remember what else, some of the other ones we were. Did the hydrophobic, hydrophilic. With, we did Wait, the, say that again. The hydrophobic versus hydrophilic. We saw how much water could fit into a diaper, which was yes. fun. Um, we did density and learned about density and how things would separate out based on their density and what density means. So yeah, they've had a great week. And we see all around the wall the attributes of God mm -hmm. that they've been learning as well. That's exactly right. And you know what, you guys? We could fill this wall completely full so you couldn't even see it. It's a drop in the ocean to who God is, right? Because he's so great. So who's right? learned that God is much greater than we could ever imagine? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Ever imagine. That's true. Well, that's great. I'm yeah. really thrilled that we can... Uh, have as a part of our BBS programs these science experiments. Yes. So we'll leave them to be able to do yeah. that. Yeah, thanks you guys. See you later.